So it seems like hardly a day goes by that Uber is not getting in trouble for something. And you know what? It's getting frustrating. Uh, here is Ars Technica reporting that Uber is apparently facing a third federal criminal investigation uh, for creating fake Lyft accounts to gather data on drivers and prices, which is kind of absurd because uh, one, they're saying that it's making it really, really hard for people who want to request Lyft. It's making it hard for them to actually request a ride because Uber's taken up all the space and whatnot. They're like requesting rides to check out rates and all that kind of stuff. Um, and let's see, uh, federal investigators are probing an internal program dubbed hell that Uber used to keep tabs on its leading competitors. Um, so Lyft and the Wall Street Journal are both reporting on this. Lyft not being a news agency, but they're, you know, obviously talking about it. And Uber's been doing this over and over and over again, um, just going after Lyft and in these really shady and often criminal ways. Um, but I'll leave a link to this article in the description. Tell me, like, is anyone else kind of getting sick of having to pay higher percentages um, to cover Uber's legal fees? I mean, if, I mean, they could probably get us at like 10% or even 5% of ride rate if they didn't have so many legal fees, if they, if they just stopped messing around and doing stupid stuff. And I know most of the problem seems to be with uh, Travis Kalanick. Uh, the guy's a lunatic. He's not the CEO anymore, but he's still on the board. And we need to get him just off the board. Get rid of this guy. He is obviously a criminal. And he really shouldn't have anything to do with Uber at all. How about the fact that Uber was looking for a female CEO? Um and totally failed at that. It's, I don't know, that's a whole other story, but yeah, Uber facing yet another criminal investigation. I, I'm not even surprised. God's honest truth, they're nuts. Anyway, like, subscribe, and I'll be around. See ya.